All right, now for the latest uh, from the Miwa murder trial, we cross now to SABC's news reporter, Sipo Kekana. Sipo, thank you so much uh, for your time uh, this afternoon. Of course, uh, the court continuing to hear evidence from Twala. Uh, more interestingly, um, the cross-examination, seeking there to just find discrepancies in Twala's testimony. Just talk to us about what transpired today. So on the issue of uh, the contradictions uh, and good afternoon, Unati, uh, what, what happened was that uh, there, were, there are two, we, uh, there, there is a statement that was made by, by um, Tokozi Twala immediately after Sezo Mewa was shot on the 26th of October 2014. He says the following day he went to a police station where he made a statement and in that statement he mentioned that the intruder that had dreadlocks was wearing a hoodie and the second intruder who was taller was wearing a hat. That is contained in that statement that he says was made a day after the shooting. However, in his evidence in chief, what he has told the court was that uh, was in line with one, uh, what Zandi Lekumalo said here. He, he has corroborated that, saying that the intruder who had dreadlocks uh, and carrying a gun was the one who came in first, followed by an intruder who was uh, taller and was wearing a hood. So what happened there was uh, Siporamo Sipile zoning in on those contradictions, saying, um, how could you have let this go? You put your signature on this. Uh, are you now tailoring your evidence in court in, to, to corroborate what Zandili said? And um, so basically, there was uh, what happened with the contradictions. It was just one of those contradictions. And remember that yesterday, he talked about the torture that he had endured at the hands of the police officers at uh, Colonel Joyce Butelez's uh, office in Pretoria, who's uh, the investigating officer of the controversial second docket and he said at that time that he was forced during that torture to sign a confession statement but he refused and he also mentioned that there is a book that was written uh, about Senzo's life and he picked up mistakes in those in, in that book and he wanted those mistakes to be rectified so Siporas Musipili's uh, argument was that you seem to be somebody who's uh, who stands his ground uh, on on how he is represented and everything. How did you let this go? Because uh, uh, surely you should have seen that. The, what was put in the statement was not what you say you had said and uh, he simply put that down to uh, he put the blame on the officer who wrote that statement and just before we we closed here um, that we had him say that um, he had no reason he we had him tell the court that he had no reason whatsoever to protect anybody in that house um, and this came when uh, advocate uh, counsel legal counsel advocate uh, Zitulele Numalo put it to him that the person who shot Mewa was one of the people who were in the house before, uh, 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 not even not even before the two intruders came in. According to Zitulele, there were no intruders at all. And his answer, uh, Tola's answer was that, I have no reason to protect anybody. I do not know anybody there. My friend was Senzu Mewa. If somebody within that house had shot Mewa, surely that I, I was going to say, so and so is the person that shot Mayor. He insisted that two intruders came in, on the, uh, came in on that evening, demanded cell phones and money uh, before a scuffle ensued, leading to the shooting of Mayor. And, and, and that's um, that's what we've had. Uh, Zitulia uh, Numal also accused him of uh, having tendencies of uh, pointing out the wrong people. He and the other people who were in that house. And this comes uh, on the back of uh, the ID parade that took place. You'll remember that uh, a few days after Mayo was shot, there was an ID parade that took place at the GP police station in Johannesburg. And in, at that uh, ID parade, we understand that Kelly Kumalo's mother, Gladness, point out, pointed out one of the people as somebody who, as one of the intruders who had entered that house. And uh, Zandile Kumalo is understood to have done the same. Now, also in Peter Marisbeck, we understand that Twala uh, pointed out 
somebody as possibly somebody who could have entered that house. And as Zitulelo was saying that the people, all the people that were pointed out in those ID parades are not here in court, are not any of uh, the five people who are now accused of having committed this crime. You seem to have a tendency to point out innocent people and trying to link them to the crime that happened uh, a, 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 in False Loras on that evening. And he said, I have no reason to do that. I cannot speak on who Zandi Kumalo pointed out. I cannot speak on who Lennis Kumal pointed out. That is none of my business. But what I, what I know is that there were two intruders that came in. And once again, uh, Unati, the issue of materiality came into play here as the legal counsels pointed out those contradictions. And that's when we heard the judge say, are those contradictions material? Do they carry any material uh, weight on, on the fact that, that there were two intruders that entered the house? Whether there is a contradiction about who was wearing the hoodie or who was wearing the hat, whether Senzu Meiwa was found lying in the sitting room or was now on the passage or in the bedroom, the fact of the matter is that Senzu Meiwa was shot. And can anybody bring any 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 argument counter argument or evidence to dispute that because that is what we are dealing with here and uh, so so um, uh, cross examination ended on that food uh, unati and so tomorrow we expect that um, Twala will continue under cross examination by Zitulele Ngumalo and um, Zandile Msholo for accused number five where uh, the number of shots that were fired are, go are going to be interrogated uh, even further. You will understand that it is his uh, evidence uh, that is Twala that he had only two shots. The first shot he says it went off while he was still in the kitchen and then he, he ran out of the house as pandemonium broke and people ran into different directions. He ran out of the house and was followed by a, the alleged intruder who was Twala carrying a knife. So we, we are going to hear more of that about uh, the number of shots that uh, took place and what he had, what he had seen. Uh, that's all coming from me, uh, Unati. All right, Sipo, thank you so much uh, for that very comprehensive update, Sipo Kagana, there, just giving us uh, what transpired in the Senzo Miyua murder trial today. Of course, the court uh, continues tomorrow at 10 a.m.